Hey math scholars, Mr. Troopforce here. To get started on today's lesson, I want us to look at this equation, y equals 4x. And the question I want to propose to you is which is greater, x or y? So when you think about this statement, y equals 4x, think about which has a greater value. Is y going to have the greater value or does x have the greater value in this particular equation? Now, some students might say that, well, x is going to be greater because it's multiplied by 4. Whereas another student might say, well, it's going to depend on what the value of X is and what the value of Y is. So I want you to think about what do you think about uh, the greater uh, variable will be, X or Y. So when we come down to it, you might think about the possibility of X or Y maybe being negative. When you hear words like greater, that can be maybe a little bit ambiguous. But this equation in my question kind of really comes down to this. When you break down this particular equation, remember the equal sign, when you think about this equal sign, you need to think about like a scale, for example, and both sides of this scale need to be equal. They need to balance out, okay? So an equation is simply just a balancing of a scale. And so this side needs to be equal to this side. So when you think about now these values or these variables of y and x, here's what it comes down to. y is going to be greater because it is four times the size of x. So think about what I just said there. y is going to be greater. So y is going to be greater because it's four times the value of x. For example, if x equals 2, let's say, okay? If x equals 2, so y equals 4 times 2. Well, I know that 4 times 2, of course, is 8, so y equals 8. So if x is 2, y is going to be equal to 8. So which is always going to be greater? Y is always going to be greater because it doesn't matter what you plug in for X. Y is always going to be more than that. Actually, Y is always going to be four times more than X because this side of the equation is four multiplied by the value of whatever X is. And that's what your y is. And if we look at this, look, y is 8 when x was 2. Well, 8 is 4 times greater than 2, okay? Because 4 times 2 is 8. So y is 4 times bigger than what x was. And it doesn't matter what you plug in here. So when you think about this, x is always going to be less than y. y is going to be four times bigger. So I hope that helps you think about your problems for today. Um, I'm always available, so let me know if you have any questions about today's math work.